Good afternoon and welcome back to Girded with Truth. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sorry I've been so absent but God has really been shifting me and separating me and there's a lot happening these days. So I have been posting one video a week and coming the month of June we will start back with our daily videos. We have really been praying and trusting God for the move that he is making in our lives. And as we close off the Separate Me series, I just want to talk about exaltation. During our season of separation, whether it's separating from good things or separating from bad things, whatever it is God has us to separate from, throughout the entire process, we are required to trust God and to trust him by exalting him daily, momentarily, by continuing to believe him and lift his name high. Psalm chapter 34 verses 1 to 9 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no one in them that fear him. So God wants us to call on him. He wants us to cry out to him. No matter what situation we are going through, whether we are in a place of separation, isolation, or transformation, God says the answer is to delight in him. The answer is to cry out to him. The answer is in our Lord, our Savior, the one we give control over to. The one who leads our lives, the one who directs us. He puts us in particular places so that we can cry out to him. He requires us to not just ask him for things we need, but to understand that this is our relationship. And when we have a relationship, there is a divine exchange. No matter what we are dealing with today, God is waiting to deliver us. He is waiting for us to cry out to him, to call on to him, to show him that we need him no matter what. So whatever you are going through, whatever your situation, I don't know what you might be facing this week. I don't know what issues you are dealing with. I don't know if you have food in your cupboard. I don't know what is happening. But I know that God is able to deliver you out of all your afflictions. Delight in him. Exalt his holy name. To exalt means to promote or to lift higher. So whatever your situation you are going through, whatever pain you have, whatever provision you need, whatever protection you need, whoever is coming up against you, if you exalt God or lift him higher in this situation, he will come through for you. He will work it out. Not all the time. There's going to be a knight in shining armor coming to just rescue you out of the situation. But even if you are caught in your situation, he is going to help you to make it through. First Peter chapter 5 verses 6 to 11 says, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, 
knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory, dominion, forever and ever. Amen. So here we are learning that just as God is requiring us to exalt him, he wants to exalt us. But we have to humble, submit ourselves to him. Humility and submission is very difficult in anyone's life. But it is required in the life of a Christian. And when we submit and humble ourselves to God, in the right time, he will exalt us. It says that everybody sees trouble, tribulation. Everybody goes through suffering, even the people who seem to be having fun in the world. All of us have to endure pain, grief, suffering, loved ones dying, having financial distress, having situations come up. All of us have to endure these temptations. But God says he's not going to leave us in it. After we have suffered a while, after we have humbled ourselves, after we have submitted ourselves to him, and we are ready to get into our destiny in the right time, in due time, he is going to exalt us. So do not lose hope. Do not lose faith. Instead, find a way through God, through Christ, to press on even the more. Because yes, the devil is our roaring lion. He's trying to devour us. He's trying to stop us from our destiny. He's trying to stop God's plan for our life. But with faith, hope, much perseverance, and much humility, God will take us through, he will exalt us, and he will deliver us from all our afflictions. So even as we complete our separation process and we get into what's next, let us exalt God, not just so that he will exalt us, but because he deserves it, because he is God, and we know with him all things are possible. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful week ahead. Bye.